Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly love reading from March the 25th through the 31st of 2019. I hope you are well. I hope you are well. All right, let's see what we got. Let's hop right into it. Your cards don't feel right yet. We gotta shuffle again. Sagittarius. 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 All right. Sagittarius, March 25th through the 31st. What have we got for Sag, please, Spirit? Six of Cups. Fond memories of somebody from the past. This may be somebody that you want to reunite with. Um, somebody who, who made you feel alive, made you feel young, made you feel like you shared a lot of laughter and happy times with. Um, you're not remembering any negative sides of your connection, but you are remembering the fond times. Um, and it's kind of stirring your heart emotions, especially now with Mercury retrograde. You may have had somebody recently come back from the past and your um, thoughts may be on that person. Now your person received the Ace of Swords. Um, there's some something that they're wanting to communicate to you. They may have recently communicated something to you. Um, some big idea, big plan, some sort of To elevate the relationship. If this is your person from the past, then they're wanting to connect and um, elevate your relationship to some some new status or development. Sagittarius, please, Sagittarius. Ooh, we got the Seven of Swords. Betrayal. Um, I feel more like this is a sense of you maybe wanting to walk away from an existing situation because you um, are, if we look at the arrow on her tattooed arm, it's pointing towards the Six of Cups. I feel like you're wanting to, it's like you're wanting to leave an existing situation to move towards this person that you want to reunite with or that you're having fond memories of. I think you're entertaining the idea, entertaining the idea of walking away from something that you're currently involved in to move towards that person. There's something that looks attractive about whatever it is that they've expressed. Okay, Sagittarius' is love interest, please. Oh, but beware, Sagittarius. This is your energy, but it's also energy of Scorpio. Um, that Knight of Wands energy is very, very bold and confident, but uh, often a player energy. No disrespect meant whatsoever. Um, the Knight of Wands is very fiery and passionate, bold and confident, but they go hot and cold. There may be a little bit of trepidation for me about making that forward movement because they have a tendency to go hot and cold on you. It may go hot and cold with regards to communication. They're not 100% present. Okay. Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Your energy, my dears. Look at that. Temperance. Temperance. Patience amongst the chaos. Grass is not always greener on the other side. 
grass is not always greener on the other side. See, I was, I was drawn to the grass in the corner of the... Never never done that on this card, y'all. So, um... I feel like there's other things going on in your life that are making you feel like this new opportunity with this old person may provide you with more peace but really what seems to be happening here is that there's so much going on in your life that you're out of balance okay sagittarius says love interest please sagittarius is love interest please the five of pentacles uh, this is them feeling trapped in a situation. They may feel that you're trapped in a situation. They may feel like you're trapped in this other relationship. I feel like I feel like either you're with somebody or there's something that's holding you back from the connection. They feel like you're trapped in that situation. Um, they feel like you're not seeing their offer, that you're not seeing that they are bringing hope. They feel like they're they've created some new, you know, direction that will provide you with something good. This kind of feels like a provider energy, but they feel like you're not seeing what's being offered to you. <laughs> so with the Page of Cups here, they may come in and express something very lovingly, very sweetly. I feel like you're going with the flow, Sagittarius, still trying to figure out what it is that you want to do. Um, with the Page of Cups, there, you know, that's kind of like you're keeping on that shallow end of emotions. Which I hate, I hate using that expression because of that song "Shallow," but um, that's we're not referring to the song "Shallow." This is you kind of like going with the flow. It's like, yes, I still have feelings for this person, but. I'm not sure if I want to walk away from where I'm at and what I'm doing now, even though I want to express to them that I do, because there's so much going on in my life right now that things are out of balance and I need to fix that, and I'm just going with the flow. It feels like love. There was love, but I'm just going with the flow. And then we have this Six of Wands energy. This is uh, you know them admiring you, you admiring them. Um, there's some aspect of the connection that makes you feel grateful and as if, um, as if you kind of have new life, uh, just because you're remembering the fond times here and let's see what we've got on their side. We need to even this out. Sagittarius is love interest, please. Sagittarius is love interest. Sagittarius is a love interest, please. Two more, please, Spirit. Two more. Two more. And the Empress, this person does love you. They do love you. They feel like they they feel like they can offer you the world from an emotional perspective. That's why we have the like this gigantic temple or whatever that is there in the background where they're saying, look at what I'm offering you, Sagittarius. Do you not see the love here? Do you not see how lucky you are that I am offering this to you because I want to give you the world. I want to give you everything. I want to give you love. I want to give you financial security, stability. We are going to have to reshuffle those. It's towards the end of all my readings, so the cards are getting heavy. <laughs> we got one more after y'all. All right, Spirit, give me just one, please, for Sagittarius' love interest. What else can you tell me about this? There we go. <laughs> they do love you. They do love you. They want a fresh start with you. 
There's love here. Um, there's love here. Soulmate, soulmate union. When I see that card in this particular deck, see the, the two halves looking exactly the same. Um, there's, there's love. They're going to be communicating the fact that they love you, but I'm not so sure that you're going to be hearing it exactly. I, you're still like kind of going with the flow, trying to feel it out, trying to see exactly what's going on. But they love you, they admire you, and whatever it is they've expressed to you appears to be true and real. Even though they kind of have this hot and cold energy, I think they feel like you're not seeing them. So it might, you know, discussion might be in order. Okay, mutual challenge, please. Mutual challenge. Five of Wands. Okay, so petty arguments and disagreements. Mutual challenge is communication. The two of you need to work on your communication because the communication is, is it's like you're, you're taking things out of context. You're taking things um, very seriously and, and kind of struggling to communicate well. So stop and listen to what it is that they have to say before you formulate your response. One more outcome card, please, Spirit. One more. All right, your card just really wanted to speak, 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 speak. Okay, so for you this week, Sagittarius, so what I have is I have some confusion. Um, you gotta make sure that you're looking at things logically and not through rose-colored glasses. I feel like that's what you're doing. You're kind of in that energy of, you know, I'm just not 100% certain. I'm trying to look at things logically and not emotionally. Um, you're going to be taking some time to yourself to try to figure out exactly what it is that you want to do about this connection. And there is going to be some sort of communication to bring clarity to the connection, to the situation. All right, let's see what Romance Angels has to say. Right. Advice for Sagittarius, please. Advice for Sagittarius. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. There could be some aspect of this connection that is a little bit different than what you're used to. Um, the person may approach things in a different way. That may be why there's a little bit of a communication issue. Um, there could be a, a sense that your expectations are different because you were raised different or you have different viewpoints on things. Uh, so definitely this particular connection requires some good communication, Sagittarius. <laughs> Okay, advice for the love interest of Sagittarius. Advice for the love interest of Sagittarius. Soulmate, see I told you. Soulmate, 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 soulmate. Not surprised to see that. This is your soulmate. Okay, soulmates though, let me just like stop. Soulmates do not always come into our life to stay forever. Sometimes they're in for us to learn something, for us to process something, to trigger us so that we can, we can remove something from our life. Um, so this person could either be a short term or a long term. That's up for you to decide, Sagittarius. Mutual advice, please. Safe for you to love. Safe for you to love, both of you. Open your heart to give and receive. The highest energy of all. Open your heart and communicate, dear ones, so that you can get past this and figure out exactly what it is that you want. All right, Sagittarius, I hope this was of help to somebody. Have a beautiful week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.